we haven't decided which race he's going to run in on Boxing Day yet. Um, he will go to Kempton in, in one of them. It, we've been talking to the owners, but the, the final decision's not made yet. But um, he'll end up at Kempton in, in, in one of the, the Feltham or the, or the King George. It was sort of almost an afterthought. I, I put him in at the initial stage just to keep everything covered. Only thinking that if, or thinking at the time was, if something happened to Card and he missed the race, uh, we'd have we'd have Thistlecrack if he was ready. And since then he's been burning at Newbury. You know, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't see a better polished performance in your life. He's just as likely to run in the King George as he is in the Feltham at the moment. Um, we just want to make sure we got it right. He hasn't never had that this that sort of competition over fences. But he has had it in the World Hurdle run-up. You know, he's been in some hot races. He knows all about going flat out gallops. His jumping looks pretty foolproof. He could easily go there and he he could he could easily win it. He's he's that type of horse. He'll start odds on in, in the novice whether he's ready to be be thrown in against the likes of, of Q Card. Yeah, um, no, we're lucky enough to have won a King George, but it's only it's only one King George every year. So um, so we have to be fair to both. To both horses and owners individually, like we can't we can't keep these horses apart forever. Um, so if they if they want to go, then then we have to do what's right for the horse and the owners as, as individuals. Never mind um, what's best for us necessarily. Well, we don't, what we don't want to do is afterwards having any regrets that we didn't go a little bit more like the Feltham, the Cotswold, then then the Gold Cup. Um, so we're just just mulling over. We had a long chat with Tom Scudamore last night about is this a right? If it's a right route, is there a say next week? I think the faster they go, the better chance we're going to get. I'd, I'd like them both to go flat out. And we can just sit behind them and <laughs> overtake them at the second last. I'm not, not worried about. It. I know it's going to be a Fiorish gallop. But I'm sure there's going to be some good Irish horses to come over. And I'm sure there's some that we haven't even mentioned uh, at the moment. So n not at all. I don't, I, we're expecting a, a fast gallop, and uh, no, they'll be lovely. I think we're planning to look to run sort of the end of January somewhere. Um, I mean, his last his, we ran him quickly after Cheltenham to Newbury because because he was too fresh nearly at Cheltenham, um, and we we want to get to, to the Gold Cup with with enough experience. We don't want to turn around in March and say oh, well, he lacked experience. Whereas if we've if we've had five runs under his belt, then. Um, then um then he'll know exactly what's what. But you know, he's scored over fences since since the end of September. And like he can go around our school and jump thirty fences in the morning, you know. He would have scored over over a hundred fences before he ever before he ever set foot on the race course. So um so he'll do plenty and Tom School will be down again next week to give him a score before before wherever he goes on Boxing Day.